Welcome to the Circuit Podcast. Uh, this is Alex Carmanos back with another episode of Commit Corner. Today we're joined by Simeon Wilcher, a recent commit to head coach Hubert Davis and North Carolina. Simeon, thanks for uh, joining us, man, taking some time out of your night tonight. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. No problem. So, man, uh, I'm going to jump right into it. Tell everybody why North Carolina. Um, like, to be honest, out of all the schools that recruited me, I had a few schools that recruited me hard, but when I went down there, it just, like, it just felt right, to be honest. And I felt like there was no reason to just, like, just to wait around and and try to see other things do, and I felt like this was the right decision to make. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. So I saw some pictures of you from when you were on your official visit uh, with you and the whole coaching staff, and I think I read somewhere that, like, that really played a big part in, like, how much love the whole coaching staff showed you, you and your family on your official visit. Just talk about the official visit, maybe, and how that, in the end, helped you make your decision. Um, like, being around the whole coaching staff, it kind of, like, and becoming, like, when I stepped on campus, I kind of felt like I was already comfortable with them, to be honest, even though I was meeting some of them for the first time. And like being involved with the head coach as much as I was, it played a huge part because especially like in my class and at other schools, head coaches aren't really involved with players. They allow, they just give that out to their assistants. And for me, seeing me speaking and seeing Coach Hubert as much as I did, it kind of made me feel like, oh, they really, if they really want me over here or they, or they really have really, uh, this is a spot for me to be. Yeah. For sure, man, for sure. So, like you said, Coach Davis, you know, he's showing you a bunch of love, saying that he really wants you to be there. That makes you make your final decision. Was there anything else during the recruitment process that the whole staff did a little different than some other schools that you were recruiting you? Um, to be honest, I, all schools, all schools, they throw their pitch out and everything. But – yeah, I, I think what really like seeing just being in the environment for the first time and and learning about the history of North Carolina and all the guards that come out of North Carolina, and then speaking to Coach Roy, Coach Roy Williams, that that was really that was a really good speak, and just like and speaking to him, and him telling us about his his like time when he was there, all the ups and downs he had when he was there, and like just how how like great North Carolina is as a whole, and also what really played a big part was knowing that every coach on the staff in North Carolina, they one went to North Carolina and two either played or coached at, at the highest level, which is where I want to go. Mm -hmm. And they all ended up circling back and coming to North Carolina. That just says something about, about the love and everything that they have for North Carolina. So that, that played a big part for me too. Yeah, for sure. So you made the decision, you're a guy, a guy from the class of 2023, you made your decision relatively early. Um, what did Coach Davis talk to you about? What parts of your game he wants to see you develop a little bit more before eventually getting to the college level? Um, of course, like he tells me, like, of course, he's, he's going to tell me like things he wants to see from me, of course. But like, I'm such a stickler on myself that I kind of I kind of like know what I need to what I need to improve on before I get to that level because because it's going to be way different from high school so and it's, and it's, and it's not going to like you're going you're going against teenagers anymore you're going against grown men who one could have could have a family and this is their meal ticket kind of thing or so it's like it's a whole different like mindset you got to have going into that situation so me I just be, I just work on like all aspects of my game and trying to better myself and better myself mentally because the playing basketball of course, you got to have the skills and stuff and everything, but you got to be able to like, you got to like your brain has to and your brain and your mentality has to be there, too, for you to be really successful because things can become stressful. Things can become stressful. And if you don't have that that strong mind and and like willingness to just like, like to be like, all right, I got to do this anyway kind of thing. So you got to just try to better myself completely. Yeah, for sure, man. So. Talking about how, like, the whole, like, recruitment process can be a little stressful for you, man. Uh, this is a question I have for you. Is there some people in your corner that you really trust come, when it comes down to making these big decisions like the one you just made committing to North Carolina? Yes. I talked to my parents. 
talk to my trainer. I talk to some of my close friends. Mm-hmm. Talk to my brothers. Like I have a like I have a group chat with my brothers, and we just and we just like just chop it up. Give them. It gives me the pros and cons of everything. Like any decision that I make, like or any like it could be from like shoes all the way up to my my decision. Mm-hmm. So and I have that support group because I know they're not gonna not they're not gonna lie lie to me and just tell me what I want to hear. They're gonna be like totally honest. Like if they don't like something, they'll they'll tell me that they don't like it and then give me the reasons why. So I understand everything. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure. So if I if I'm not mistaken, you're Coach Davis's first uh, recruit from the 2023 class to commit to North Carolina. Um, so out of that 2023 class, are there some guys that you yourself are actually actually recruiting to come to North Carolina with you? I haven't really started my recruiting yet, but there's one kid that I think I think I want to uh, I want to have him at North Carolina with me. For sure, for sure, man. So um, let's take a little break talking about North Carolina and your commitment, and let's talk about this past spring and summer that just passed. Uh, played with the New York Rams. You guys had an incredible run at Peach Jam. Yeah. Uh, just talk about this whole spring and summer with you and that group of group of guys. Um. This summer was great, man. It was great, great experience. I got to play in Peace Jam for my first time um, due to the COVID stuff and everything. Um, we had a really, really group, really, really good group of guys. Uh, I think we had just like like every piece that you needed to be to win the whole thing. But the COVID thing came around and we lost a couple guys late. When we like, if we really had our whole team and everybody was healthy, there was no doubt in my mind that we would have won it. Because we really had everything you needed. You had the, you have all like the all the players that you need. Like the team was like it was really a complete team. You don't really come across those teams that, like that often. So I think it was fun for me. It was a great experience. Yeah, for yeah sure. I just I was just upset at how it ended. Yeah, definitely, man. You guys were real. So you guys had a real special group this year. That's for sure. Um, so now let's talk about this upcoming high school season back at Roselle Catholic. Uh, you guys, once again, going to have a really, really good team. Just talk about how all the preseason stuff has been going and what's the goals uh, for this upcoming season, man. Uh, preseason has been going really well. Like, guys have been coming along really well. Um, everybody's – I feel like everybody's gotten better since since the time, like, we first started the preseason stuff. I feel like everybody's gotten better. Everybody's gotten strong. Everybody's gotten, like – like, and stuff is just competitive. And I feel like that's the – that's what we need for us to be – one of those top teams that we would that we would like to be, um, and our goal for the year is when is to win the TOC. Uh, without us having us only playing um, fifteen games last year, and then freshman year it being canceled right when we were on the road to it, um, I feel like this year we really have a good chance, especially with the with the guys that we have. Yeah, absolutely, man, for sure, for sure. So um, now we're gonna transfer over into our. our um rapid fire segment so i'm gonna throw a bunch of questions at you man uh i bet bring them on bring them on <laughs> i'm gonna throw a bunch of questions at you the first thing that pops to your mind just mm-hmm. just throw the answer at me all right gotcha all right so favorite movie uh rush hour favorite food uh chicken alfredo favorite snack mm, fruit snacks favorite drink um, pink lemonade. All right, cool. Uh, favorite store to shop at? Hmm. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> like, what are we? Wait, it depends on what we're shopping for. I'm um, like, like every day, like stuff you wear to school. Stuff you wear to school? Yeah. Oh, I wear a uniform, so that's kind of like. <laughs> All right, so when you're not playing basketball, like when you're just going out hanging with your friends. Um, um, I like this store called Clientele. Clientele, I like that store a lot. Cool, cool, cool. Favorite music? Gunna. Okay, favorite Gunna song? Um, Spending Addictions. Okay, okay, that's a good one, that's a good one. Uh, favorite basketball player? Kevin Durant. Uh, favorite UNC basketball player? As of right now? It could be ever. right now or it could be in the past. Um, RJ Davis. Uh, 
favorite team that you've ever played against? It could be high school or it could be grassroots. Favorite team I've played against? Ooh, it would be final, even final. though we lost twice. But <laughs> we had Kyle. We had Kyle on too. He said team final. Mm -hmm. Um. All right, last one for you. If you weren't playing a sport, if you weren't playing basketball, what sport would you be playing? I'll either run track or play football. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Awesome. All right, so yeah, um, Simeon, last question before I let you go here, man. Uh, well, more of a statement. Just tell all the UNC fans that are going to watch this what they're going to get in you as a player uh, and a person off the court. Um, you guys are going to get uh, uh, humble, uh, outgoing player off the court, person off the court. Uh, happy go lucky kind of guy. Um, but uh, when it steps on the court, hardworking, go getter when you step on. Um, just like guy has positive vibes, guy that people like to be around, um, super committed guy, uh, a hard worker. Uh, we could go on for days. Uh, <laughs> uh, down to earth, very conscious person, um, very confident. Uh, don't extend, don't mistake my confidence for arrogance. I'm not <laughs> arrogant at all. But yeah, I think that's about it. Awesome, man. Awesome. Well, Simeon, can't thank you enough for uh, joining me on another episode of Commit Corner, man. Uh, we're looking forward to watching you again this season for high school at Roselle Catholic and watching mm -hmm. you on the EYBL circuit again with Renz. And we really can't wait to watch you in your freshman season when you finally get there for North Carolina, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you having me, man. All right. Yeah, no doubt, man. Take care. No doubt. All right. You too.